If you have a YouTuber in your family or your friend circle but have no idea what to get them for Christmas, don't even worry about it. Here are a few things that are actually useful and won't break the bank. Hi, my name is Valentin. I'm a filmmaker with over 10 years of experience and now I'm building a community with creators to show that there's a sustainable way to grow on YouTube. Now let's get into it. I'll have a couple recommendations for every state of production and all of these items I actually use on a regular basis. Pre-production is obviously everything that happens before the actual filming. And that's where we have to organize all the thoughts in our heads. We all use different tools that help us best organize what's in our brain. But almost every creator I know uses good old fashioned pen and paper. My personal combo of choice is the Rhodia Dot Grid A5 notebook with the Studio Neat Cortex brand Mark 1. It's the first luxury pen I've ever bought. Um, I obviously got many ordinary pens at home, but this one was a gift to myself last year. And every time I write with it, it's just with a little bit more purpose and a little bit more intent. So yeah, I can fully say that having a nice pen is, it really makes a difference. And if you don't know where to start with pens, you could just make a whole day out of it. So go to your local stationery supplier and test out different pens or writing accessories or whatever. So you get a two in one. You have a physical gift at the end of it, but you also have an experience along with that. Now on to production. That is when you actually record the video. And obviously you need camera, lights and sound. And let's start with the sound because believe it or not, that is actually the most important part of filming, of video creation. Depending on the style, I got two recommendations here. If it's more for vlogs or like being out in the street, recording everything, maybe some travel content, the Deity D4 Mini is an absolute no brainer. It's a cheap mic for around 50 bucks or something. It's actually good and it has a headphone jack. So you can actually listen to the recording and on top of all of that, it fits in your pocket. There's no reason why a content creator shouldn't have this microphone. But if it's more about streaming or recording voiceovers, the Audio-Technica AT2020 Plus is a solid choice that I've been using this whole year and still regularly get compliments for on video calls as well as in my videos. Now moving on to lights. Just know you can go really big here. I mean, in size, but also in budget. But a solid choice for everyone is an RGB pocket light. The Falcon Eyes F7 is a really solid option and it has a metal housing for durability and a USB-C charging port for usability. There's even a newer version that has app support, but I really think that's a nice to have rather than a must have. And this little light can be used as a key light in a pinch. You can illuminate the tabletop setup or just give a nice accent to the wall behind you. And finally, you need a camera. If you find a camera under 100 bucks that's actually worth filming on in 2023, let me know. I'd love to check it out. But since that is most likely not the case, you can get the next best thing. And that is a nice lens for it. Believe it or not, Every brand has a nifty 50, a 50 millimeter lens with a nice wide aperture, Canon, Sony, Nikon, all of those brands have one for around 100, 150 bucks, something like that. And pretty much almost every camera manufacturer as well. So no matter which camera system you're using, you can find an affordable prime lens that has a nice wide aperture that gives nice shadow depth of field for the bokeh in the background for that cinematic look. And the last stage, of course, is post-production. The thing you need most during post-production really is time. And since this is a really hard thing to gift, get the next best thing, presets. They allow you to make cool stuff or get to a final result in a lot less time. My personal supplier of choice is Motion VFX, and I've used and modified their MKBHD pack extensively but all of their assets are really well made and available for all the major softwares, Premiere, Final Cut, and DaVinci Resolve. So a gift card to their store is certainly a boon to every creator. All right, those are my suggestions for a gift I'd love to receive. 
And of course, you find all the links to everything in the description below. And I hope this was helpful to you. So please let me know if you end up getting one of those for your loved ones and how they like them. With that, happy holidays and I'll see you soon.